We would like to tell the story of the Rock Pocket Mouse from the point of view of the Hawk. Hello, I'm Bruce the Hawk, and I'd like to tell you the story of the Rock Pocket Mice from the perspective of someone who didn't benefit from the evolutionary process. This, my friends, is my story. It all started with a volcanic eruption. As this volcano spewed its dark molten lava on the light brown sand, mice seemed to pop out everywhere. The mice, which traditionally blended in, now stood out in the middle of the stark molten rock. It was heaven. My friends and family could scoop up these mice like it was nobody's business. It was easy pickings, and the mice were as tasty as ever. We thought that our future was bright and our food source was ever plentiful, but we were so wrong. Soon the light-colored rock pocket mice could no longer be found. At first, we thought we had eaten all the mice, but then, every once in a while, my friends and I would spot a dark rock pocket mice that blended in with the new terrain. These mice were extremely difficult to find. We were baffled. How could the mice change colors to avoid our hungry claws and beaks? To find the answers to our questions, we flew across the desert to find a famous sage of a bird, Dr. Falcon. Dr. Falcon sat us down on a soft and comforting branch, and he, through his wise ideas, explained to us the mysteries of the rock pocket mice. I will now retell Dr. Falcon's explanation of our rock pocket mice dilemma. Microevolution Microevolution is evolution involving small-scale changes within a species, occurring over a short period of time that results in the formation of new subspecies. In other words, evolution that happens on a smaller scale in a shorter period of time. One way to explain evolution is to call it a cumulative change in the characteristics of organisms or populations from generation to generation, caused by random changes, usually a mutation, in genetic composition, which carry on to future generations because of natural selection. In the case of your lucky rock pocket mice, microevolution occurred which was caused by a random genetic mutation within one or some of the mice that caused these mice to be similar color with the molten rock instead of the traditionally white color of the sand. These darker mice were actually able to adapt to their surroundings more easily than the light-colored mice because hungry hawks like you and your friends couldn't find them. This variation, a modification in structure, form, or function in these organisms, allow the dark-colored rock pocket mice to live longer and have more offspring with the same dark genes because their predators couldn't find them as they blended into their habitats. As you and your friends finished off the light-colored mice, it looked to you like there were no longer any mice. The depletion of light-colored mice can be credited to the concept of natural selection set in motion by you and your fellow predators. To better understand natural selection, think about it this way. In this case, nature's predators determine which rock pocket mice were able to survive and which were not. A natural selection. Bruce, if you want your offspring to continue eating rock pocket mice, they're going to have to be fortunate enough to be born with a genetic mutation to see more easily. How can I make my son do this? You can't. It's random. <laughs> Ho 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 ho!